Access, access, united we're strong. We won't go away because we know you're wrong. Access, access, you've had your way too long. We're here and we're gonna stay. Hi, I'm Lynn Padato for Adapt Chicago Productions. Today we have as our special guest Lobna Smita. Lobna is an advocate for disability rights in Tunisia and is the recipient of the Department of State's Professional Fellows Program. She has been in Chicago for several weeks studying disability policy at the mayor's office for people with disabilities. Thank you for joining us. So Thank nice to have you here. Thank you for your invitation and it's uh, such a pleasure to join you. Uh, thank you. Well, uh, mm. what is life like for people with uh, disabilities in Tunisia? Well, it's about a question actually. Uh, people with disabilities in Tunisia, they are smart. We can find some, let's say, bright stars, like uh, what I saw in the United States. But we still suffer from uh, some um, problems of accessibility, some problems of uh, social mentality, and um, we hope to, uh, or I wish, to be able to convince some parents not to be ashamed of their children, mm -hmm. to give them the opportunity to uh, be educated, to be educated, to show them to the people to make them have some social um, relations. And um, I am working actually with uh, people with different disabilities, not, not only the much ones. So uh, uh, we have uh, some ramps that are not well studied. As I saw here, uh, they are very, uh, I mean, um, uh, steep in uh, Tunisia. Sometimes we, we take a very dangerous uh, experience to go through a ramp or uh, a, blind, a person with a visual uh, I mean, uh, disability cannot uh, uh, be alone. Sometimes he or she needs the help of the others. We want to be autonomous. This is what we want. Yeah, everyone wants yes. that. Definitely. And we wish the um, new government, after what we have done as a revolution, and it, mem it makes me remember the American revolution as well as the uh, um, French one and the other revolutions. Uh, I want that we can make revolutions in mind. Yes. And not only uh, politically or uh, uh, socially. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, what do you hope to accomplish in your country with your advocacy? Like yeah. What is some what you are most passionate about? Um, as I'm working uh, within the presidential palace, I wish to ha be able or to have more uh, ability. Uh, I mean, um, I have to say. Uh, facilities to express the, uh, the uh, thoughts of the voiceless people they am present that I am presenting here. I'm not here as a Lobna Smida. There are so many people who are behind me. I'm here as a missioner, as a spokesperson, and I don't claim myself to be a heroine. No. I'm just expressing what they want. I'm here to, to voice uh, people throughout the world, especially the Arab world. We want to say to our leaders, hear us, listen to us. Maybe you'll find something. We have so, so many uh, smart uh, persons. We have e even some inventors <laughs> in the Arab world. And uh, I wish to uh, make a sort of a, a, for a forum, an Arab or uh, an international forum, to, collab to collaborate with uh, other countries and to show that we can participate in the social, um, in the social development, 
in the economical one as well as the political one. Why not? Why not? We can do it. Everyone has okay. abilities. Everyone's yes. Everyone's capable. Yeah, and especially now, uh, the um, uh, uh, assembly, national assembly of of constituents, after our fight and being back and back by the society and the NGOs, they issued a uh, sort of uh, an article about uh, the rights of people with disabilities, but it's still somewhat mean, I quote, we need more. It's not uh, uh, a matter of uh, being, uh, um, what to say, uh, greedy, or uh, they, uh, they are stretching the hand, but we need more, and we need collaboration. We don't need somebody else to make a uh, decision for us. It's we who make decision for ourselves yes. or who should do it. Yes, yes, you want to be in charge of yourself yes. and make your own decisions. Yes. And, and that's not what, um, you said it was still, it was kind of mean still. What do you mean that um, it's mean? I, I thought you said something that in the Yeah, because the, the article, yeah, the article is just uh, speaking about equality and giving the rights for people with disability. But uh, we, ha we want to, to be uh, presented as uh, persons that are able to participate in the political issues, in the social issues. They are just looking at us as if we are uh, people who are receiving rather than participating and being active. Okay. Yeah. So they have a different way of looking yeah. and you would like it we want differently. We We're want to step from the uh, level of being a recipient mm -hmm. to be an active, uh, I mean, group. Be an active participant, yeah. right. And that's to that is understandable. Um, is it difficult to speak out for disability rights in Tunisia? Uh, sometimes, yes. Yes. Because sometimes when I, want, I went to uh, uh, some, um, let's say, political, uh, institutions, they say, well, you have to uh, have a meeting, or do you have a rendezvous, or do you have an appointment, uh, can it be tomorrow, and tomorrow when they <laughs> come back, the, the, when they come back again, they say, uh, can it be next week, and so on and so forth, and the process is like that, but I've never, and my friends as well, they've never give, gave up, uh, given up their, uh, I mean, uh, the hope of uh, expressing ourselves. We did part of the work, but we are still have so much to do. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, you do have a lot to do. It's, I can't even imagine. You know, I can't even imagine the, the fights and the, the walls that you're trying to, to I climb over and break down. Believe me, I am speaking to you now. And as I said yesterday in a meeting, my, uh, in a metaphorical way, my mind is pregnant with ideas. Mm -hmm. If only I would have a listening ear. If only they would make us involved with them uh, in uh, making decisions. If only they start to hand and uh, thinking about us as if we are their equals. Because we are the equals. So I believe that we are uh, people who had in the past so many labels. We have been so far uh, called people with disabilities. In the past, we've been called people with special needs. In the past, we've been called to people, handicapped persons. But we are people with special abilities and this is what I believe in yes so otherwise I'm not speaking as a Robna I repeat it I'm speaking about uh, so many uh, friends colleagues and persons around the world 
Natal in Indonesia, in Jordan, in, in Morocco, in Syria, in uh, Egypt, in all over the uh, in all over the world, even in America. We are learning from you, and I wish that uh, we can collaborate uh, uh, together, because even people here are in the USA, they are suffering a little bit. It's yeah. still more to do. There's always, there's yeah. always going to be more to do, yeah. isn't there? Well, you're going to be going before Congress in a few weeks and presenting um, your work. Yeah. Is that um, the fact that you, that you are equal and people with special abilities are equal? Is that um, the message you want to portray to Congress? Or what, yeah. what, what would you say? What, what will you say when you go in front of Congress? Well, you make me spill the beans. Oh, okay. I, I, well, I will, don't want to do I that. Know, I, will, I will do it for because this is the opportunity that you gave me. And they would thank the uh, people behind the curtains that are now uh, reducing every word that we are uh, uh, speaking and they are listening to us. And the, the audience that are here uh, now um, I mean, uh, attending our program, I have to say that uh, my poster will be about tourism and handicap, or handicap and tourism. Uh, I uh, have uh, been thinking about uh, how uh, Americans or people throughout the world, when they come to Tunisia, uh, how can they be able to move? and to uh, have access to uh, every place they want to go to. Uh, as well as us in Tunisia, when we go throughout the, the uh, European or the American world, how can we be able to, um, uh, to, to, to be uh, autonomous a little bit? So my, the uh, emblem of uh, or the mission or the theme working about is how to make the uh, thing accessible, how to show to the world that uh, uh, tourism is not only economy, it's a human development and just human rights, uh, how economy can be uh, an, um, an interaction between uh, different civilizations its culture uh, and how economy should be a uh, human economy and not just economic one. So uh, uh, from this uh, platform I have to speak a word uh, as a wish from a lady or let's say from a little child that he used to be. I uh, tell now ignore the diagnosis of my disability. I don't know what I have. Mm. And I still uh, have the hope to find uh, somebody maybe here as a developing, developing country from the doctors. It's a, a sort of a wish from a little girl to, oh. to know what they have. Mm. And thank you for you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, thank you for being with us today. This is Adapt Chicago Production. I want choices and rights. Choices and rights. Choices and rights in my life. I don't want your charity. Are you to be paid to care for me? I want Choices and rights in my life And I don't want to be in your care I want to be put someplace out there I want choices and rights in my life Choices and rights That's where we got to find Choices and rights